listeners and subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. So we know here at California Carter, this is pretty niche stuff, okay? And with this topic, I'm going to have to ask those of you out there who routinely and enduringly adhere to one political side or the other to put that crap on pause, okay? You're going to need to, uh, especially if you're one of those triggered snowflakes that melts in the heat of anything that conflicts with your beliefs, all right? Because sometimes these subjects on California Carter, they're just sticky, messy topics, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this. It would appear to me that the hard part about this information dissemination, right, is finding middle ground and even a, an audience with enough cognition to understand the material. I know that's harsh, but it's true, okay? That's just how it is. So I don't expect uh, people to fully understand what I mean when I often say that the country is divided, all right? I, I don't even fully get it myself. And until we're exposed to some of the nuances of that division, it's really just a statement. Well, an understatement, really. And what I'm telling you is that people can be so... Uh, dug into their holes that they truly can't see anything outside of that hole, whether it's political, religious, or whatever, okay? It, it really doesn't matter. But specifically with politics within America today, it's pretty much set up to get you so dug in, you, you just end up burying yourself, okay? Endorsing policies even to the detriment of your party or America, uh, simply to stick it to the other side, okay? That's the situation we find ourselves in. And really, the most universal example of division right now in America is Donald Trump. There's, there's hardly any question about it. Because, get this, if I criticize Trump, even rightfully so, you have the brown-nosing conservative MAGA that gets triggered. Now, conversely, if I praise Trump, if I say, hey, he's doing something good here, or good for him on that measure, then I trigger the liberal foamy mouth NPC. So there's no winning. And now that's even true by extension of policy. OK, and what I mean by that is you don't have to just talk Trump uh, or, you know, Democrat. If you criticize policy that's perceived as a uh, democratic or republican you can still catch the limbing backlash now that's absolutely crazy so it's like you can't talk about anything outside of the extensive to anyone anymore about anything okay unless you're you're tactful to the point of virtual self-censorship that's where we find ourselves i mean the conservatives they're so pacified and placated now that they have a republican president they endorse his measures even when they're to the detriment of america as a whole okay and really we're at the point that if if he were to call martial law or something like that, they'd make an excuse, right? It's all part of the plan, part of the 5D chess, bruh. You know, that's, that's the conditioning. That's how far it's gone. And, well, liberals, look, at least conservatives seem to have some hope of redemption, at least until another Democratic president comes along, right? But the liberals, well, shoot, you know, good luck. Good luck. That's all I have to say. Good luck. Um... But really, no, both sides, they're being played against each other, and it's in a way that's just fracturing our country, okay? Uh, it's really all part of the New World Order agenda. And see, here's the thing, I'm not anti-Democrat, I'm not anti-Republican, I'm anti-New World Order, all right? Although now, I really don't know, because there doesn't seem to be much going on in those political noggins out there anymore, uh, except for petty quibbling, okay, and the willingness to be whipped from pillar to post over these facile ideologies. It's just stupid, all right? And it's crazy how we can't recognize some of this stuff. Look, when you see the hallmark obfuscation of the JFK files, uh, the vaccine pushes, okay, treading on the Constitution, circumventing truth, when you see a politician trending down these roads, how aren't they a New World Order tool job? I mean, so you have a guy, right? Just look at this. You have a guy who, like the rest of the shills, delayed the release of the JFK docs, pushing for mandatory vaccines time and time and time again, treading on the Constitution, specifically the Second Amendment. And this guy, he couldn't stop saying the name WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks! I love WikiLeaks. These WikiLeaks, 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 as confirmed just today by WikiLeaks. It's been amazing what's coming out on WikiLeaks. And then suddenly, clam up and it's like uh, I know nothing about WikiLeaks it's not my thing I know nothing really about them it's not my it's not my deal in life so come on come on what's really going on all right look I, I'm anti New World Order and Trump has demonstrated to me he's just another New World Order tool job period all right but as always you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink okay people just can't see beyond their holes man I'm telling you you got to come out of your holes people <laughs> you know 
So I'm sure you remember that Starbucks thing I covered, right? Um, officers were asked to leave because they somehow made customers feel unsafe and later Starbucks apologized. Well, that alone sort of gives you a small glimpse into the people's different beliefs when it comes to law enforcement, okay? And this is something uh, that's really beginning to and really already has uh, become sort of a political thing, right? The Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter type deal. And again, this is sticky. I get it, right? Because you've got folks uh, that endorse law and the state with religious conviction, which is statism, really, and that the law enforcement, they think the law enforcement can do no harm, right? And then you have those who are at the opposite end of the spectrum that thinks we should do away with these systems altogether. And really, uh, I seem to be lost somewhere in between that, okay? See, because I get that the system we're in is typically, you know, laws generally backed by the threat of force, okay? Armed costume tyrants uh, that have clearly forgotten who they work for. But that that doesn't mean I endorse it, all right? But I can still see both sides, right? I come from a family of law enforcement and military, and they've talked very openly uh, to me about some of the corruption within their ranks. It is there, okay? I'm talking beat officers, chief of police, community service officers, vets, friends, and family, okay? Um, I'm not just some Johnny come lately to this. I can appreciate and comprehend both sides, and both sides have valid points, okay? But what's missing there is the awareness that there seems to be an intentional campaign to drive a wedge between law enforcement and citizen, okay? Not just that, but the blacks versus whites and the left versus right, gay versus straight, anything, anything to divide us, okay? And, and again, I think the problem is finding middle ground, like I said, because when it comes to pissing off the other side or if it comes to uh, the political sheep out there and triggering them, it's a milk run. It's an absolute milk run. And if you don't know what a milk run is, it's a military term, okay? And uh, it's, it's just, it's accurate to the state that we find ourselves in. And as an addendum to the statism thing, I think that that hits at the heart of a lot of this because you know there are people who say they don't trust the government, yet they want government creating the laws that curtail our rights and freedoms, okay? Or you have the folks that do trust the government, although I can't see how anyone could trust a known and proven liar like the U.S., so they just get led down the primrose path. And that's what happens. Look, something's got to give. Something's got to give. And I have a feeling that things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. It's sad, but it's true. California Carter, signing off.